Welcome to College Algebra, Math 1314. Today we're going to be solving radical equations. Here is our first radical equation um, problem that we are going to solve for x. You first need to isolate one of the radicals. Notice how we have two radicals. So I am going to add one of the radicals to the other side just to isolate one of them. Now, because it is a square root radical, in order to get rid of that radical, I'm going to square it on one side. Now, whatever you do to one side, you always do to the other. Um, the square root squared, obviously, just turns into x plus 5. Now, here, 2 plus the square root of x minus 3 quantity squared, I'm going to show you how to evaluate that by foiling. You treat it as regular foil, so you do your first term, so 2 times 2 is going to give you 4. And then I'm going to do 2 times the square root of x minus 3, and I'm going to get 2 root x minus 3. Now I'm going to do the inner term, and a square root of x minus 3 times 2 is also 2 times x minus 3. And then I'm going to do the last term next, and it's the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of x minus 3. Because it's the same expression, you end up with x minus 3. Now I'm going to combine like terms here, so 4 and negative 3 become 1. I don't have any common terms with x. And 2 root x minus 3 plus 2 root x minus 3, since they are the same, when I combine them together, I'm going to get 4 root x minus 3. So this is what we get after we FOIL um, a radical, and on this side I'm going to have 1 plus x plus 4 root x minus 3. Now, we came up with another radical on the other side of the equal sign. Due to the fact that we came up with a, another radical, we are going to have to isolate this radical. So I'm going to subtract 1, subtract x. And that is going to give me 4 is equal to 4 root x minus 3. Since I am multiplying, I need to divide by the 4 on the outside. And I get 1 is equal to x minus 3. And just as before, we need to square both sides to get rid of the radical. And now, we solve for x by adding 3 to both sides. The whole point of a rat, um, radical equation is that we have to make sure and check our solution to the original problem just because we might produce extraneous solutions. So here is the original problem again. And I'm going to substitute um, 4 in for our x as that, that's how it was our solution, our possible solution I should say. The square root of 4 plus 5, that's going to give us the square root of 9 minus 1. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 1 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 is equal to 2, which is a true statement. Therefore, x is equal to 4 is a solution to this problem.